what do I mean by uh, the genius of classic reports? And first off, who exactly am I? Uh, well, my name is Tyson Jugle, and I'm a been an Apex developer for 11 years now. It's crazy just to you know keep watching that number get higher and higher. And um, I'm an instructor and consultant for skill builders, so uh, I don't just do these uh, uh, these webinars or um, you know deliver training. I also actively build things, so I try to make sure. Uh, that I kind of relay the helpful pieces of information to you. Uh, the other thing, I'm a, a pretty huge D&D nerd. Uh, I play Dungeons and Dragons every Wednesday uh, to kind of get away from, uh, while I am, you know, spend a lot of time in front of the computer and a lot of time with tech, I also uh, like to, you know, spend time in the uh, physical world and, you know, put the technology aside. Uh, in terms of what we are going to talk about today, um, I just want to make sure that everyone you know, gets acquainted uh, with the you know, tried and true classic report. And then we're going to cover um, a couple extra just uh, concepts that you can use to kind of really make your classic report sing. Uh, some such features, uh, we'll talk about how to leverage HTML expressions. We'll talk about the report's place uh, in dashboards and, and how that works. We'll talk a bit about um, how you can just in inspect a single record in some ways that developers do that, uh, that I think maybe isn't the, the best solution. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about some new, some new stuff that came with 19.2. We'll talk about the faceted search region uh, and how that relates to classic reports. And then we're also gonna talk about some new API support kind of coming to uh, essentially all regions which the uh, classic report will benefit from. 